while back we talked about the command uber underscore subject dot py, which would launch a graphical user interface you could use to create a custom-made script to process and analyze fMRI data. However, if you don't have access to it, either because you can't get Python installed properly, or let's say you're running a Windows emulator, then you can still use the AFNI proc py script, which is called upon by ubersubject.py. So to show you what this looks like, AFNI proc.py can be used at the most basic with this command called ask me. Okay? This hasn't been updated for a while. It's not recommended that you use this necessarily, but in a pinch it can still give you a pretty good idea about how this command works. So it gives you some information about what this looks like. Enter the number of data sets, I'm going to say three, and I know that we have three data sets. I'm using the downloaded AFNI underscore data six data set with these different FT epi commands. Okay, so there are three of those. It's selected three with a wildcard. Subject ID, I'll just call this subject. And script name, uh, my script dot tcsh. Okay, number of TRs to remove. Let's remove two of them. And let's say in this case that our anatomical was acquired first. So aligning to the first volume might be the best idea. Okay, basis function, you have a number of different ones you can select from. For now, let's just say the default gamma response. And these are timing files, not stim files. If you need to know the difference between them, you can just click on one of the links below in the more information box. In this case, we have two of them. There is AV. One is visual, one is auditory, as you can see here. I just use the wildcard again to expand them. Number of stimulus labels, so how many are we going to actually label? Let's put two. And for this one, let's say visual and auditory to correspond to those two. Okay, so that's all it needs, and now it's going to give you an example command to execute this. All right. So just type this out here. This T command will both print this output to the screen and also put it into this output script right here. So once that's done, press enter and you can see it going now. This is a very small data set, it should only take a few minutes to run. But again, this is just showing you at the very basic how acneproc.py works. So very simple to use, you can just use this ask me command which will guide you through step by step. Okay. So instead of letting that whole thing run, I'm going to actually show you what the script looks like. Okay. So notice here a few different things going on. So first it sets some variables up here. I'll look at this at your leisure. And second, any block that we actually told it to run or any automatic default block that will be run anyway is in these following sections. So 3D TCAT that will remove certain TRs from your data sets. In this case, I said to remove the first two, so it's only going to keep two until the end. So only those volumes within each of those data sets. Okay, scrolling down here, uh, T out count checks for outliers within each data set. T shift does slice time and correction. Volume registration does alignment within each of those epi data sets to make them all aligned. Uh, blurring. It's just smoothing, making a mask. We only analyze voxels within a certain region. And then we convert all of those to a scale of 100. Lastly, we have a 3 d convolve script, which actually runs the deconvolution and estimates beta weights for each regressor. Now, the important point about afniproc.py is that it creates these templates that can, you can then use to make changes to. So for example, I might want to add some contrast to this script, such as taking the difference between the audio visual, the audio and the visual regressors. Okay? So the next tutorial will cover some more advanced instances of AFNI PROC PY.